Hi folks, Master on Android.com where we get on Android every day. Anyway, today I'm going to show you how to um, get rid of Aroma installer in a custom ROM so you, you can install uh, certain ROMs with SafeStrap. For example, I have an ATN TS5 here. Um, you can actually install T-Mobile ROMs, ATNT ROMs, also the International SM and 9005 ROMs onto the ATNT S5. But the ATNT S5 uses SafeStrap, which does not support Aroma Installer. Aroma Installer is a graphical installer. Uh, SafeStrap Recovery does not support it. So there's a way to remove the Aroma Installer in the ROM, um, so you can install it with SafeStrap. Now this will also work uh, with phones like Galaxy S4. If you have a AT&T Galaxy S4 with SafeStrap, um, then you can go ahead and use this method to install T-Mobile ROMs uh, that, or Canadian ROMs uh, that have Aroma Installer by removing the Aroma Installer. This should also work on uh, Note 3 uh, if you're installing T-Mobile ROMs onto AT&T Note 3. Uh, it will not work on S, uh, the International SMN9005 ROMs because you'll need to install the Wi-Fi patch. Actually, if you do install the Wi-Fi wi -Fi patch after, uh, it should work also. Also, this should work on Note 2. Uh, actually, no, you know what? No, yes, Note 2. Sorry, there's so many phones. I'm not sure about S2 or the original Notes. I wouldn't try on those uh, since uh, uh, the variants, they don't, they're not available on S2 and the original Note 2. Too, anyways um, so let's go ahead and do this a lot of things to keep track of for me but uh, uh, basically one thing is for sure we can go ahead and re remove the aroma installer uh, and then allow it to be able to be installed on uh, with safe trap so let's go do this baby hi folks so I'm gonna show you how to remove aroma installer uh, from a ROM um, so go ahead and down the cus download the custom ROM you want to remove uh, ROM installer. So I've got uh, this ROM called Skyfall ROM. Uh, basically, this is a T-Mobile Galaxy S5 ROM, but I want to install it on my AT&T S5, which has safe strap. It does not support a ROM installer. So go ahead and download, download the ROM first. Um, you may want to do this on your computer, of course, uh, but it will work on Windows, Mac, or Linux. Go ahead and unzip the file if it's not... Ex ex um, unzipped already and this method basically removes all the Roma installers and then we're gonna uh, replace the updater update binary uh, binary file with the regular one versus this one has uh, regular uh, the Roma installer installation version um, I'll show you all of that you don't have to worry about it I'll show you step by step so I'll be back when this completely uh, unzips which is gonna take take a while all right it is done extracting um, this is the original file I don't need this anymore and what you want to do is uh, let me go ahead and zoom in here and you want to go into meta inf directory all right and then go into com directory and then go into Google directory all right and then go into Android directory uh, and then ch change uh, updater dash script this into .txt so you can edit the file. Uh, and you can go ahead and edit. Um, I do I do highly recommend getting a uh, uh, don't use like a regular Notepad. Um, I got this thing called Notepad plus plus for my Windows, uh, but there's a bunch of others. You can also use command line uh, editor text editor like such as VI if you're using or Mac or Linux but go ahead and use notepad plus plus if you're using Windows and this will allow you to edit all of the uh, all of the lines correctly the way you should be able to want it now this is a little bit confusing um, depending on the Roma installer uh, there may be different options uh, but uh, that's why you should know what you're doing um, I sort of do so here you can see that is installing the ROM um, writing data all right, and also system. So for this first part, you can get, go ahead and get rid of all this first stuff if then. All right, because this is saying the, um, this is basically saying write the data. You can leave that alone. Um, also, what you can do is uh, here we go. These are uh, options for 900T if you're using a T-Mobile Galaxy. Um, S5 or if you're using 900F. Now 900F is actually compatible uh, with T-Mobile AT&T so I, I can just go ahead and use a 900F so I'm gonna go ahead and delete all this I think this is the kernel part uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and erase if then here and also end if 
All right. And then these are all, uh, you can see they're all deleting. Uh, basically, if you choose like a slim fast option to get rid of the blowware, it's gonna delete all of this blowware. But I don't really care about it, so I'm gonna go ahead and erase from if then if, if to uh, end if, all right? And these are all Roma uh, options that delete all these. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete uh, from up here if to and if. I mean, if you want to delete all those um, bloatware, you can leave, uh, get rid of if, uh, get rid of all this part, the first if then, and get rid of and if right here. But I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of all of them um, because I, I just actually wanna just install everything. And also same thing here, this is another option. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete all of these options uh, if through then. All right, and camera files here. This is also some, some kind of camera option. I'm gonna actually delete all of these if then options uh, all the way down to here when it's, where it starts uh, sim linking. Because these are all different options. Um, I mean, you can go through each of them and leave the ones you want. For example, if you want, um, if you want certain things like, uh, let's say, uh, skip expose files you know you can go ahead and get just get rid of if and and if like that or you can just go ahead and simply for those of you who are not used to um, you know editing files like this I would just get rid of all the end ifs uh, end if if end ifs all right so I got I got rid of it so all I have left is all this make sure get rid of the uh, white spaces it might cause errors so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of the white spaces here. All right, and when you're editing, make sure you don't delete a character. That will cause an error and you'll have to do this again. Um, and you can get rid of these spaces also. All right, I'm gonna keep going down. Simlink, this is all stuff that's part of, um, part of the uh, installation. So I'll just leave probably most of these. Also set metadata. Um, all this you can leave on. You can see more if, then, and ifs. Basically, you gotta get rid of these. These depend on the aroma um, selection values. Uh, so, here is a different kernel. Actually, this is where the kernel options are. Um, you know, if, if you know the aroma installer, you can go ahead, uh, or I just, you know, I just select the first one. Usually, that's the stock kernel. And you can always flash a different, well, actually, you can't flash a different kernel. Uh, but usually the first one should be the stock kernel and lock bootloaders like at and S5 does not support uh, custom kernels. So if you choose the wrong kernel, it might not boot. But uh, in this example, we should be fine because it actually ended up fine. That was the stock kernel. Um, also, you can go to XDA thread and ask the developer what the aroma uh, options are, uh, what the first one is. All right, after deleting all those if, uh, then and ifs. I'm gonna go ahead. Um, all of these are just cleanup files. Uh, they get rid of the knocks and stuff, so you can leave all of these. Now I have gotten rid of all the if, then, and ifs, right? Now it will install. Uh, there's one more step you gotta do. So make sure you save this file here. Save, close it up. Go back to the directory and go ahead and change this back to uh, updater-script, all right? And go ahead and delete all of these other files. You don't need it. You just need a update-binary. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete all these files. Now you do need a new updater uh, script uh, binary. So go ahead and download updater uh, script, updater-binary.zip. Go ahead and uh, download that and extract all files. All right, this is a regular update binary you need. If you use the one that's included with the Aroma installer, it's gonna try to go to Aroma installer and you're gonna end up with the same thing where you can't install the ROM. So go ahead and do a copy with the update-binary. And then we're gonna go ahead and go back to our ROM folder here, go back into meta in folder, go back into com folder, Google folder, Android, and go ahead and paste it here. All right, that's it. Uh, once that's done, uh, we can go ahead and go back to the main directory where you have all these folders and just um, zip it, add to zip. Uh, you can use your favorite zipping software. Um, I use this thing called alzip here. 
and this will create a file for me, um, the new sf underscore s5 blah blah dot zip. And that is pretty much ready to go. And you should be able to install it on non safe strap uh, Galaxy S5. Now this will work with a Note 3. Uh, also the Note 2 S4 should work on the S3 also, although I have not tried. And that should be it. So now you should be able to hack the actual ROM and install it, even if you have a safe strap recovery. Again, you're not gonna get all the cool options, uh, whatever the ROM you're installing, uh, or you can enable all of them. Um, and uh, you know, it, it's kind of a hit and miss sometimes because if there's a lot of options, um, you know, you may end up installing the wrong kernel or something and end up in a boot loop. Um, so just, I'm just showing you how to do this because some of you asked and uh, some of you love um, spending your free time trying to make these things work. Uh, but in the meanwhile, I should have uh, converted these files so people can use it with SafeStrap uh, for the ROM of the week that I do on my sites. Uh, so you don't have to do this, but I'm just showing you for those of you, you know, who want to install the ROMs that I don't feature on my site, you want to do it yourself. Um, this is how you can do it. And it is almost done here. Uh, it is added. Basically, a ROM zip file is a zip file. It's a regular zip file. You can zip it with any zipping software. Um, basically, what we did is we edited the updater uh, script file. And I don't have to check it. So there's a new file. Go ahead and copy it into your ATN TS5 um, and try to install it. And let's go do this, actually. All right, I got my ATN TS5 here. I'm going to go ahead and reboot and get into my safe strap. I'm going to go ahead and install the uh, newly hacked Aromaless uh, ROM. And that ROM is called the Skyfall ROM. Make sure you go to recovery here if you see safe strap menu. Um, this is only for safe strap users. You don't have to do this unless you have a lock bootloader on AT&T. Um, for Verizon, you can't really do it because if you install international GSM ROMs on it, it's probably not going to work without... Uh, CDMA support. I mean, you know, they say sometimes it might work, but all right, here we go. Let me go ahead and do a wipe. All right, and when you're using safe strap, make sure you use a stock ROM slot. Um, don't use the the other ROM slots. They usually don't boot that well. I do just recommend using the stock ROM slot. Um, go ahead and install. I'm gonna go to my download folder. I'm gonna go ahead and select my new newly edited file here without uh, Aroma. And you can see Aroma Installer does not pop up. It's just installing um, the choices I made uh, with the updater script. Basically, usually the updater script does everything. Aroma Installer, what it does is, is it adds another GUI layer, graphical, graphical interface layer. Um, so you can choose all the options. And then after that, it will pass on those values to the update, find, uh, update, update, <laughs> update script. Sorry, it's really early here. Um, so, you know, this is what it's doing. Uh, and then we just took out all the aroma if, uh, then, and if options. And then, you know, just made it, make it install everything or, you know, the option that you want to install. Um, you should be able to kind of look through the updater script and see which options you want. Usually you can kind of tell because if you go to the actual uh, ROM, thread on XDA, it shows you which aroma features it has. So you can look at that, look at the updater script and, you know, uh, add, the, add the features that you want and keep the commands there. Uh, once this is done and rebooted, we should be all good to go. And we've got it installed, uh, reboot system. Actually, I've not actually tried this. This is theoretically possible and people said it's possible. Uh, but uh, I was able to finally do it today because I know one of you have, several of you have been asking me um, to make a tutorial like this, but you know, it's, it looks kind of complicated, but basically you edit the updater script, get rid of all the if, then, uh, and if, um, and anything in between you can keep if you want to keep those features, or you can erase the whole thing. Uh, Cause a lot of the options, Aroma install options on this ROM uh, specifically is that, um, um, options were to remove some of the bloatware. So I just got rid of the whole thing so you can install the whole thing. 
uh, and then I can go ahead and use Titanium Backup app or even just App Manager to uninstall the apps I don't want. Um, since getting it booting, booting, getting it installed and booted is the first priority. Uh, that's pretty much it. And uh, I'm gonna give another 30 seconds and this ROM should boot. And this will work on most of the ROMs. Uh, there are certain ROMs that might not work if it has a ton of features and you know you edited the updater script wrong. Uh, but it's not dangerous so long as you use a ROM that's intended, that's compatible with your phone, uh, you should be fine. There we go, I got it booted. And boom, shock lock. And normally this ROM you wouldn't be able to install. Um, now I am able to install. And let me go ahead and show you the settings real quick to show you that this is a T-Mobile ROM with the Roma installer now running with my AT&T Galaxy S5. Uh, let's go to about device. You can see my model number changed to 900F. That's actually that Aroma installer line. It might, might have been asking for the model number. Uh, but my baseband is still at and because most custom ROMs do not install modems, which is also called a baseband. And you can see the kernel, it installs some kind of stock kernel. If it has nothing special on it, it means there's a stock kernel for it. Um, also build number, you can see it has G900T, which means it is a T-Mobile ROM running on my AT&T. Now I don't have SIM card inserted, um, but uh, my IMEI number is still there. So it's all good to go. I just need to insert my SIM, I'll set my APN, and I should be uh, ready to enjoy a T-Mobile ROM on my AT&T S5. And I should have a review of this ROM too. Um, and that's how you do it. That's how you can remove a ROM installer. I hope this helped uh, for those of you wondering how to do this. Oh yeah. And thanks guys for watching this video. As you can see, I have a T-Mobile ROM installed um, on my AT&T S5 uh, that has an Aroma installer. Uh, of course, I didn't get to choose all of my settings for the Aroma installer, but I got it installed, uh, all the basics of it, so that's good. Anyway, I hope this helps you install uh, custom ROMs onto your locked bootloader, uh, AT&T or Verizon uh, S5, S4. Uh, yes, this should work also on uh, Verizon phones also, but the thing with Verizon is that most international ROMs or T-Mobile ROMs are not compatible uh, for with Verizon CDMA network uh, versus T-Mobile to AT&T it is possible because they use the same JSM network. Now when you do this, make sure it is compatible. Uh, all the custom ROMs that are comp compatible as far as you don't hard brick is uh, the ones that have the same uh, CPU chip. For example, T-Mobile. AT&T, uh, also the international model of the S5, all share the same CPU. But now if you try to do this with a ROM like a, a Exynos based Galaxy S5, uh, which is I think SMG900H, uh, uh, those ROMs do not try to install on the Qualcomm devices. Um, you will hard brick, so do not try on those. But everything else should work. And uh, you know, if you have any questions, um, I don't actually recommend this unless you know you know a little bit about rooting and custom ROMs, but I know some of you do. Then go ahead and uh, knock yourself out, and I know a lot of you have been asking for this, so I hope this helps. And as always, if this has helped you uh, install more ROMs onto your uh, AT&T Galaxy S5, S4, Note 3, uh, Note 2, don't forget to hit that like button. And as always, uh, stay on Android.